What's up, guys? It's Gary. And like I said on uh, Twitter and Facebook, I wanted to make more of some different type of content. So I've always tried to do... um, I've always done gaming content and uh, skits, but I also want to make more personal videos, uh, like one-on-one, um, and talk about you know, more life experiences and uh, let you in on like my life personally. So this is a, a start. And one of the things that I noticed within the last couple of years is the the surge of like. Um, of more black nerds in media and uh, more alternative uh, black people in social media in general, which I think is really cool. And maybe it's always been, maybe the communities have always been there. Um, I just haven't been a part of them. And now that I'm a part of like different Facebook groups with more like-minded people and, and uh, people of the same um culture I guess you can say I find it to be pretty cool Um, but in the same breath I've started to notice um, a lot of like athletes that are coming out like football players and like MMA fighters that are coming out as like nerds like big anime nerds and things like that which I find really interesting um, because if you're anything like me growing up as a black nerd um, and especially like an alternative black nerd um it wasn't that ex- ex- people weren't that accepting, especially like other black people, especially like jocks and football and basketball players. And maybe it's just a southern thing. Um, I got bullied really, really bad to the point to where I just got I just dropped out of school, and um, which eh, it is what it is. Say lovey. But one thing um, I, I want to say was like there was an Instagram. And it was like IGN or Kotaku, one of them, uh, one of those type of like um, journalist sites. They had a, they were highlighting football players that were nerds, um, and a lot of them. It was, it was the same thing. It was like, uh, I've always been a big Dragon Ball Z fan, Dragon Ball Z, and I noticed in like the black community, Dragon Ball Z is really popular. Has always been popular, and I, I love Dragon Ball Z. I kind of fell out of it um, as I grew up. I just started to not really like it anymore. Um, but growing up, that like did not exist at all, you know. And you know, to put things into perspective, I was in junior high. I think in two thousand one is when I started like sixth grade, and that was like unheard of. I was like the only. There were other nerds there, but it it was not acceptable at all. It was a, a lot of like, you, you talk white, you act white. Um, Cause I also liked skateboarding and I liked rock music, but I also grew up in like a very Christian house to where if I, the only music that I could listen to was like gospel and like Christian rap. But that also segued me into coming into myself in a way um because even even though i grew up christian i'm I'm an atheist and and, um a lot of there was one artist in particular his name is pigeon john and if you're a gamer uh pigeon john is his song um i think it's on, on the bomb is the song that plays on the Dead Island 2 trailer. And I got into Pigeon John in about 7th, 6th or 7th grade. And there's a song that he had called Identity Crisis. And I would highly recommend it. Um, I'll see if I can post a link to it somewhere. Um, but essentially the, the song was about him being a teenager and when he was interested in this girl and the girl wasn't interested in him because he talked white. And I remember being a kid and being like, I'm not the only one. I'm not alone. So I bought 
every single CD he would put out after that. And he was one of my favorite artists. Um, and so, all, and then like the, uh, the church that we went to was a primarily white church when I was a kid. And a lot of the, there was a lot, a surprising amount of like goth kids that went to that church. And so they introduced me to a lot of like Christian uh, rock and metal bands. So like Under Oath, As I Lay Dying, uh, Thousand Foot Crutch. Um, oh, there's one, there's a ska band. Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. They had a song called Juggernaut, and that was one of my favorite songs, but then it, oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. I gotta Google it. Five Iron Frenzy. I literally Googled uh, Christian Ska Band, and they were the second one. Uh, Five Iron Frenzy. And I um, actually have a funny story about that band as well. But um, so, and then it was just like this rule you couldn't listen to any secular music. So it was basically any music that wasn't Christian. But at the same time, I had you know, good bands like, like I said, Under Oath and Thousand Foot Crutch, um, and another, there's another Christian band, oh, The Devil Was Prada, and then there was like The Devil Was Prada, and I was like, boom, I'm in, that, that was my, that was my, my loophole that I can, I can get into it, so, um, and that all led me into, to do music later on, I was always into music, as a uh, as a child, I was always in choir in school, in advanced choir and things like that. Um, so, and then because of that, because I was a big music nerd, I got bullied for that too because I was gay. And if you don't know me, I'm not gay. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being gay. I have friends. I have family. Well, I don't have family members that I know of. Actually, I lied. Um, and I, I consider myself an ally, but I digress. I got bullied so much because I was in uh, what was called Magic Moods in high school. And Magic Moods essentially is like the, was the glee club. And I was like singing show tunes, dancing jazz hands and everything. And like that didn't give me any girlfriends. That didn't give me... Um, very little friends because I was very annoying and immature as a freshman in high school and everybody hated me. Um, they don't say that now, but they did. And, um, but a lot of my bullies were all black. It was really weird. It was really fucked up. Um, and then my white friends that were supposed to be my allies were doing a lot of doing and saying a lot of racist stuff that they didn't at the time they were, you know, they were children. So they didn't, they didn't realize it, neither did I. I was just kind of like, oh, these are my friends. This is how we joke. They're, you know, uh, oh, Gary's eating chicken. Oh, I, I, I bet Gary likes to eat chicken because he's black. You know what I mean? But I remember specifically in middle school, the hottest thing was like skate shoes. That's when skateboarding became like, like was like the biggest thing on the block. And I started skateboarding. Boy for that. I was uh, the white boy. Um, but I remember that was the beginning of me having to constantly prove myself um, that I wasn't a poser because I was black. So there were no black skateboarders. And then the ones that, that, that were like, like Compton S. Terry and uh, man, there's this other guy that skated for Zoo York because I had a Zoo York skateboard. So I always tried to fly, uh, follow the Zoo York skate team. And he passed away and I can't remember what his name was. It was like Terrence something. Um, I would always get like crap from the, the skaters in school because they were like, oh, what kind of tricks can you do? What tricks can you do? Oh, you're a poser. Gary's a poser. Gary's a poser. And that trickled into me starting in the music scene whenever I, I was a vocalist in band, uh, Span the Sky, and it was pretty much the same thing. You know, I was a poser because like my favorite band is Fall Out Boy. Whereas everyone else my age, they were listening to like thrash metal and like 
you know, um, like Whitechapel and Job for a Cowboy and stuff like that, which I like those bands, but they, they weren't my favorite band. My favorite band was Fall Out Boy, specifically 2003 to 2010 Fall Out Boy. That was my, that's my favorite band. And, um, you know, you don't, you don't have to prove yourself to anybody. I always felt like I did because I was alone. I didn't have anybody like me that could back me up or, you know, or even like relate to what I was going through. Um, it was just me. So it's really interesting now that um, people like Donald Glover and um, I'm drawing a complete blank. There's another guy I'm thinking of and I'm drawing a complete blank. But even like, not even like celebrities, but like other YouTubers and, and people there like, like actually are making careers. Not me. I made no career out of being a black nerd, at least not yet. Um, but they're making careers out of being big old stupid dumb nerds. One of the things that I wanted to do in this video is not only share some of those experiences that I have, but also to say that not only do, not only am I planning, so one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video is not only to share my experiences um, as a alternative black youth and now an alternative black freaking adult is that I am going to start transitioning this channel and hopefully build a community of like-minded people of other goth emo hipster black people and build a community of love around that I'm not saying like you know f white people y'all can't come in Nah, we need we need allies we need those those friends and uh i thought that because the culture is so accepting now in 20 right now it's 2019 but we're about to get into 2020 um there was a friend of mine who told me like one of their nieces was basically going through the exact same thing i am and i was like dang i already went through all that crap so i would really like to build a community of love for those those people and so let's let's see what happens I'm still doing comedy though I'm still doing comedy videos but I do want to start posting more videos like this and new consistent content like that so um, but that's gonna be it for me today um, feel free to uh, like and subscribe Share this, as a matter of fact, share this with a friend. If you know anybody, if you or anybody you know that's like ever got um, picked on or remember getting picked on for, for talking and acting white, um, share this with them. Share this with them um, because I think it's important. And um, let's, let's build a community of love. Please. Uh, but if you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, comment if you've had any experiences like that black white whatever doesn't matter um, but uh, share it in the comments and uh, follow me on Instagram Twitter um, Facebook let's um, let's hang out let's talk oh also um, if you are into gaming content I'm also on another channel that is uh, you can find in the description uh, called Zero and Psychic. It's another skit comedy channel, but I also have some gaming videos on there. I have my own gaming show on there called uh, The Grind with Gary KW, which is me. And uh, I'm playing Hatafu Boyfriend right now, and I'm about to uh, get into the KFC uh, Colonel Sanders I Love You game. So if you like games like that, uh, go subscribe to that channel too. And you can find me there and we play some games. All right, guys. Goodbye.